Hi, this is Remy Logan reporting for Entertainment Scoop, and today we are at the NAACP Image Awards Ceremony. Let's hear from some stars. You are what they call you, the lovable ratchet. How do you take such <laughs> a negative ratchet. term and turn it into such happy positivity? Oh, well, I don't know. I mean, I have fun being ratchet. And when I'm in the club and when I'm having a good time, most of the time it's because I'm being ratchet. And I mean, I'm unique is the essence of just love <laughs> and just being truthful in herself. And that just comes out a little bit ratchet. It's like the goodness of ratchet that she is. I call it the ratchetery. What in the world happened to I'm Unique? Without your office environment and your vote of confidence, she had nothing else. Now look at her. Unfortunately, she's lost some of her old skills that used to pay the bills. Mm. She is like a Cheeto with ratchet class, and it's in this nice little beautiful orange bubble. That's I'm Unique. It's good. A Cheeto always tastes good, no matter how long it's been out. I mean, I've just always been goofy my whole life, and I'm just so thankful that now I get paid for it. So what keeps you humble? You know, I'm happy to be here and just be a part of the NAACP Image Awards, and just to be here and with some of my favorite actors. It's just a dream, so that keeps me humble, just knowing that I'm here and a part of it. You seem like such a wonderful, sweet, gentle soul in person, but on that, in that character, you're vicious. Can you just tell me how you transform <laughs> no, yourself into that? Well, a lot of that, as I've been saying, is, is the writing. Um, and it's also what he wants. I mean, what he wants is to get his daughter out of danger, get his daughter into a, a life that is a lot more acceptable for him. And at the same time, his job is to protect the Republic. So it is, you know, a by all means necessary kind of job. You and I both know that he is not in charge. He is never in charge. Power is in charge. Power got him elected. I think the post-racial, post-feminism, it all goes into Lake Harry Washington being the first um, black female in over 40 years. 40 years, that's right. That's right. The, the, the main characters are predominantly African-American, and it's a big achievement in the African-American community. It's huge. I mean, I don't know that most of the characters that are main characters are, are African-American, but... Carrie plays this incredibly powerful woman in Washington, D.C., and the character that I was given to play is, is, for all intents and purposes, the most powerful man in the United States, including the president. So that we've never seen before on, on television from African-American characters. And that, I think, yes, is an enormous achievement. Did I not raise you for better? How many times have I told you you have to be what? You have to be... What? Twice. What? Twice as good. Twice as good as them to get half of what they have. I, I think Shonda is very smart about how, how to use the character so that you don't see too much of him. The more you see, the more you know. So obviously the less you see, the more mysterious he becomes. Um, it allows the character to sort of move around in a way that the other characters can't, which I enjoy very much. I am the hell and the high water. Hi, I'm Brescia Webb, and I get my news from Entertainment Scoop.